I feel that I made that term up. I was writing a blog on the Bravo website. Um, I, I, was, well, I was emailing Lauren Zelaznik very dishy reports from the set of Battle of the Network reality stars. And she said, wow, this is really funny. You should be the only TV executive that writes a daily blog on Bravo, on the, on the, on our website. So I did, I started writing one on bravotv.com and I wrote about the show that went on the night before. I wrote about Project Runway and I would say, you know, look, I was there for the elimination and this is what happened that you didn't see. So it was a way to talk back to the viewers and um, it was, it was the first kind of direct communication, I think, between a network and their viewers from the programming uh, head. And sometimes I said the wrong thing and sometimes I revealed too much and it was a real learning experience for me. And I was also writing about what I did the night before. And in one of my blogs, I think I wrote, I was writing about some event and I said, oh, it was full of Bravo liberties. And I love combining words. And that's how they came about. Bravo liberties are, celebrities who are on Bravo and they really are, you know, their own kind of breed. Um, and um, because of that blog, Lauren wound up, uh, she wanted to do a lot. She was really into building the Bravo website. And she said, I really want to do a live show after Top Chef on BravoTV.com. Why don't you host it? It'll be like your blog, uh, but on online, live, as a TV show. And so I did, and I, I went to Englewood Cliffs, to CNBC headquarters, to this small little room, um, actually half the size of the Bravo Clubhouse probably, where they could get a digital signal out. Mm -hmm. And I would bring whoever that chef was that was eliminated that night, and Tom or Padma or Gail or whoever the guest judge was, and we would take calls and emails, and we would play some games. And it was called Watch What Happens Live because that was the tagline of Bravo at the time, Watch What Happens. And that, and then I did it for Project Runway, and that show became the template for Watch What Happens Live. Um, and I wound up uh, doing, uh, I wound up getting my first reunion show gig out of hosting the online show. I, we needed someone to host the season two Orange County reunion. And Lauren said, you know what? You're doing this show on bravotv.com. You could do it. It'll be the first show to go from the web to TV. And we'll make, we'll make, these, uh, we'll make these reunion shows, we'll brand them as Watch What Happens specials. And so uh, in the early reunions, I would say it's a Watch What Happens special. It's the Real Housewives reunion. And it was all kind of going back to the little web show. Mm -hmm. And so it's a weird thing that that blog is what really, you know, created my TV persona. My persona really became about because of um, my blog, because of Andy's blog, it was called. And I was getting interviewed on CNN and the Today Show about TV and about, not just about Bravo, but about TV. And I loved it because it was a way for me to get in front of the camera and get experience being on live TV and being a pundit of pop culture. They, uh, Bravo would pitch me out as their pop culture pundit. And Laura knew that, it w that I loved it and she thought it was good for Bravo. And so then when Michael Davies came to Bravo, the producer Michael Davies, he, was, he saw me on a flipping out reunion show and thought I was really good. And he said, this guy could do this on TV. So he came to Bravo and said, I have this little studio in my production company. I could do Andy's online show on TV. Are you interested? And they came to me and said, are you interested? And I said, yes. And they put it on at midnight for 12 weeks and it did pretty good and they picked it up for some more. Then it moved to 11, then it went twice a week and then it went five nights a week. But that's not the question you asked me. The question you asked me is about social media. The reason I answered in that long way is when I got the talk show, Watch What Happens Live, that was when I went on Twitter. I didn't wanna go on Twitter beforehand. I thought, I'm already sharing so much. I write a daily blog, why do I need to tweet? And Bravo, the folks at Bravo said, look, everyone who has a talk show has a Twitter. So I signed up for the name Bravo Andy. 
And that's how I became Bravo Andy, really. And that really kind of became my na- my nickname. And um, I was tweeting about the show. I was tweeting about the Housewives. And people really started tweeting me about every Bravo show. And they still do, even though I'm not in charge of programming anymore. Mm-hmm. But that became a really easy, quick... I mean, the blog first, the comments under the blog, and then my Twitter feed really became a very fast focus group for me where I could see what was working and what wasn't. And Bravo is very research heavy. We have a great research department. We research every show after it's done and find out what worked and what, what didn't and what they liked. And with the Housewives research now, I have to say, there's very little that comes back that surprises me because it, I'm living it every day on my Twitter feed because people are, are, are tweeting to me constantly. How do you keep up with it? You know, I mean, you just, you scroll through it and you see, you get a sense, you get a very easy sense. But you know, that was also part of the reason that led to us getting rid of those New York Housewives that season. It was, I had never seen a reaction to a season that way. It was very toxic. People were very fed up. They were upset. It is a show that people love to tweet with and the Housewives tweet, or a lot of the Housewives tweet during the show. And thankfully the Housewives is a show that people are so addicted to it that they want to see it live. And, you know, where everyone's fighting the DVR, but that, that, you know, that's a show whose live ratings are still good. Now, it still doubles in the DVR ratings, but... Yeah. And what was the decision to actually show the tweets from viewers on screen? That was another way. People love watching reruns of The Housewives. Some people typically will watch an episode, and then they'll, they'll either watch the rebroadcast later that night, or they'll just watch it again when it's on. Somehow it's comforting to people. And so the social editions that they started were ways of getting people to watch and seeing comments overlaid on the, on the show mm-hmm. from viewers and housewives.